That's one small step for man. Decades before the capital region would earn the nickname Tech Valley. One giant leap for mankind. Neil Armstrong became a household name. Though he never actually touched the moon surface himself, the boots he wore did. Silicone rubber soles made by Waterford-based Momentive. Learned about science. It was very cool. Second graders like Tiffany Trong, the first to see a moon boot replica at the Children's Museum of Science and Technology. The donated boots, custom made for the Apollo 11 program back in the 60s. Every imprint that man has made on the surface of the moon, from the sole of the moon boot, to the gloves and the fingerprints on the gloves has been enabled by materials that were produced by Momentive Performance Materials and our heritage company, GE Silicones. And here science goes from a textbook to enabling a, a walk on the moon. When we people talk about the exciting technology, the innovation, things that are happening in this region, we were doing this hundreds of years ago, 40 years ago. It's not just about products like the moon boot, but also things you might remember from your childhood like silly putty. Of course, this became the basis for a number of products, including rubber baby bottle nipples and even the silicone that's found in keyboards. We, we produce the lenses and a lot of the adhesive materials that are used in LEDs. Uh, we sell a lot of enabling materials and, and solar panels. Uh, as the new Momentum, and we, just, we actually just merged with our sister company, uh, we make the specialty chemicals that enable windmill blades. This amid all the talk of America not making anything anymore. Momentum's transformational growth director says 1,000 people there make $2 billion in yearly sales. Scientists solves problems. The key now, using the area's strong innovative past to get children interested in moving science and society another step forward. In Troy, Steve Ferentz, YNN.